Weasel News. Devin Weston profits from Congress's decision to allow Meriwether Security Consulting to expand domestic operations. Gang crime is on the rise. Experts blame lack of movies. The funding war between security agencies rages in the Capitol. It's official. Epsilonism is not a cult. Credits roll on another historic Vinewood movie studio. The ball sack in wild swings again as stocks drop. Devin Weston, Los Santos's legendary billionaire investing guru, was celebrating along with Don Percival, CEO of a controversial private security business yesterday. Weston announced his fund had taken an 11% stake in Merriweather. Percival, meanwhile, was happy after defeating a government plan to outlaw the expansion of Merriweather's domestic operations. Expect more privatized high security firms to begin domestic operations as the war on terror continues to rage. Gang crime is on the rise and politicians are blaming lack of media coverage and sensationalism. The recent fall in the popularity of gang movies focusing on both African American and Hispanic street gangs has led to a rise in gang violence, experts warned yesterday, as people no longer had movies to warn them of the danger of making bad choices. Movie mogul Solomon Richards and his struggling Richards Majestic Studios will be reeling today from the news that another historic movie studio, Lowenstein Pictures, has closed and will be turned into luxury condos. Will there soon be nothing left in America but reality TV and property that nobody can afford? The funding war between IAA and FIB intensifies after Congress promised to slash spending and both agencies recommend it's the other one. Cult News. Chris Formage and his fellow Epsilonists were celebrating yesterday after the Supreme Court of the State of San Andreas overturned the Revenue Service's claim that the Epsilon program was a cult and a pyramid scheme and not a real religion and therefore should have its charity status repealed. Mr. Formage, who is believed to have amassed a fortune of several billion dollars, wept on the steps of the courthouse. I'm Carl Kelly. Markets were volatile as the Bossack Index went into free fall and then got hit hard before a late rally had everyone really confused. If you want to understand more, pick up my new book, Mounting Bulls and Riding Bears. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices.